Breaking news. Ohane is a tubohari. Allow Mazi Namikano address Igbos before the elections. Hello guys, welcome back to the news. If you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all, my country people. As unknown gunmen continues to work hard work in the southeast, the Secretary General of Ohane Zindibo, Mazi Okechuku, has asked President Mohamed Buhari to allow Nandi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, to address the people of the southeast. Now, we have been seeing reports on how the Finland-based uh, Simon Ipa is being accused of sponsoring the unknown gunmen, causing chaos across the southeast. Ipa, who used to be a self-acclaimed disciple of Mazikano, was suspended by IPO over alleged insubordination. Despite his suspension, Ipa has continued his Biafra agitation and others sit at home in the southeast. Aggrieved by the order, the Apex Igbo Social Political Organization, Ohanez in Dibo, placed a $50,000 bounty on Ipa. Now, Nigerians have been seeing the killings going on in the southeast and how it has become rampant following Kano's arrest and detention. The IPOB leader has been detained by the federal government since June 2022 after he was arrested in Kenya and brought back to Nigeria. Now, recently, you know, a video surfaced online of unknown gunmen beheading Mr. Christopher Oizu, the chairman of Idiaito North local government of Imo State. Now, the beheading of Mr. Christopher is one of the many killings witnessed in the Southeast. While these gunmen have denied links to IPOP, some stakeholders in the Southeast have accused IPA of backing them up. However, the Ohanese Secretary General, Isuru Zoro, said the killings in the Southeast would only subside if Buhari allows the IPOP leader to address Nigerians. Now, speaking with Daily Post on the activist of gunmen linked to Simeon Ipa, um, Isirizu, you know, reiterated his strain on a plot to destabilize the, 20, the 2023 elections in the Southeast using Ipa. According to Isuru Zoro, this madness of seat at home and the insistent killings and insecurity we are witnessing in the Southeast can be traced to the continuous incarceration pardon, of Nambikano, which Simeon Ipa is taking on due advantage of. Now, calling Simeon Ipa an opportunist, a frame and a fortune seeker, who use the window and lapses of Kano's detention as an opportunity for him to venture into his journeys of amassing wealth from politicians and destroying the people of the Southeast. Saying the only cure to the madness of Simeon Ipa is a passionate appeal to the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to allow the leader of IPO to address Ndibu, possibly this February before the elections, because there is a grand conspiracy by some external enemies of Ndibu, and how they are using Ipa to shortchange and ensure that there is no election in the Southeast. They have called that the only cure for Ipa's madness is to allow uh, pardon, is for Buhari to allow Mazi Kano, even if it's a five minute broadcast, because Kano has continued to say through his lawyers that these killings and insecurity in the Southeast would, should end, that the activities of the unknown gunmen instigated by Ipa should end. And why there had been no effect on this message is that the people doubt if these messages are for Mazi Nambi Kano. So in order to have a peaceful election, the federal government should give Nandi Kanu a five-minute broadcast to talk to the people of the Southeast. This would end Ipa and his madness. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this down below. Thank you and bye.